Okay, so we're sitting at my computer. Um, I could click on my profile, but there's nothing there. So what I wanted to do, since I did a review last time, um, was show you about writing a review. This is one I saved of, it says at the top, right there, Georgia Pacific Spectrum, 92 uh, blah, 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 paper, right? So I have it over here and mine is still in there, but it's hidden. Um, and since I am not allowed to review anymore, I drew what it looks like when you would click on write a customer review. You click on that box, a screen comes up that looks very much like this. You choose how many stars you want to give it and click on it. The star. Um, the newer format that was coming out said add photo or video here. And you would have taken your photo, photo or video. I mean, it says you can take it live, but you don't have the opportunity to save it and look at it. So I always like to take it from my phone. You may not like that, but that's how I did it. And it worked really good. So um, I would do this take my photos and my videos before I begin this part. So now if you've taken your fo your photos and your videos and you're ready, you select how many stars you want. Um, wait for the photo. Um, there is a line for the title and the description of the product. This is where you would say something like, this person said, great deal, great paper. Um, the next line, this next person said, great deal for decent paper in bulk for casual printing, but not impressive. Um, that person gave it three stars. Um, this five star person, my absolute favorite. So that's your title description. You put in there what you think. Um, I wrote USA made 5,000 sheets of quality multi-purpose paper in five convenient packs. Um, so that's what I wrote and, and I was a really top reviewer. So think about what you want to put in here. Um, if you're really trying to do good reviews, you want to give a good title and description. Um, and then next is the body of your review. Uh, I always put little marks on each of my ideas. Um, I have cheated and bought an off-brand before and it cost me more in many ways. You know, and I, like I said, engage the reader to something that's probably that you have in common. Um, and on this one, I put another thought, um, where is it? Right here. If you don't have it, Amazon Prime is good to have, which it really is. Um, anyway, this is the body of your review. And you, it's, you can make it in Word document or whatever, put bullet points, but but it's really important to write it well so it's reader friendly and it's clear. Um, you get more than one chance though. If you don't like it after it's submitted, then you can go back and edit, edit, edit. Um, so, title description, body of review, add photos and videos. What I found is the first submission, add one picture. And then when you get your email that it's posted, 
um, go in and read it, and then you always edit only the words. I'm sorry about my dogs or the pictures. You can never do both at the same time because the edit will not go through one or the other. Um, usually I would post my review and there would be all kinds of uh, errors in there from spell check, but I would go ahead and launch all my videos and all my photos get those up um, so if people start reading they will start seeing the photos and then go in and edit the words um, what else did I write oh you can also write seven reviews a week of non verified but you will always be last no matter how good your review or how many pictures you put in if your purchase wasn't verified by Amazon meaning that you actually purchased it when it goes in it should say verified purchase right there um, then you can write them but they're going to be the very last ones people read hope this helps a little bit I'll see what I can do on the next one um, thanks for listening, y'all.